Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Black Spider Optics BSO 1 to 4 optic. This is made by SIG. Excellent scope, highly durable, decked out. It's actually um, initially exactly what the new Army issue optic is that will be replacing the ACOG. Only difference is that's a 1 to 6. This is a 1 to 4. This is a very similar optic. This has 8 brightness settings and 3 night vision settings. The illuminated reticle is red. It does have the windage notches in there as well as the hold notches so you can uh, aim a bit higher to hit whatever you're trying to get, whatever you need for your hold. And it helps also with cannon fire. It does come with two nice little caps. I have them off currently so I can show it off a bit easier. As far as I know, you can't get a sun shield for it. You probably could, just a little snap on one that you put on just like the actual cap. Uh, I've never really liked them anyway, to be honest. So, that's personal preference though, but yeah. So, you have a little dot right here that is telling you which uh, brightness setting you're on. It has the brightness, brightness settings and night vision settings on the side right there. <laughs> Soon I'll be having this at on a uh, cantilever uh, mount, and hopefully I can find one that also is a accurate uh, quick detach where I can put it off, take it off, and put it back on while holding the same zero. The turrets are half them away. You pull up. They have very nice audible clicks. And then just push it right down, locks in. Um, I've not had this come up or down when I did not want it to. I will, this has only been used on 3 weight on my LER8. You have your 1 to 4 adjustment knob right here. It feels great, honestly. Very, very well built. Very high quality. Obviously, it's made by SIG. You have your focus in the rear. I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like through the scope, the best of my abilities. Next time I bring it out the range, I'll try to get a nice paper zero as long as it's going to let me, if it's not raining or horrible wind. Without the illuminated reticle, it's just standard black, very easy to see, sorry I can't get it much better in the video. Adjust it, whatever brightness you'd like. It has its night vision. But if you guys are looking for a very nice, well-built, one to four, that's just gonna blow everything out the water, this is it, especially for that price point. As I said before, once I get that cantilever mount, it'll be interesting to see how well I can maintain that zero when taking off and on, so on and so forth. But thus far, it is an amazing scope. I've actually had the torque screws come out and loosen on me while I was firing it the first time. I didn't have it torqued uh, tight enough. And it still maintained zeros, still hit the target every time. I was shooting a still target with the head being the size of three inches so it, they look to be dead on it's hard to tell when I was uh, firing I wasn't doing any type of uh, strenuous test besides just get it nice zeroed in making it feel nice um, get a nice feel for it like it's it's just an excellent scope uh, sadly through it's really expensive I did drop uh, 100 rounds I use federal and wolf they both shot very, very, very well and fairly accurately at 300 yards. No issues at 300 yards engaging 3-inch target. 
I also did corner and shoulder shots on that, and it did great. That's partially how I did my uh, pre-zero after I did a bore light on it. Next time I hit the range, I'll probably have the GoPro actually attached to this, and I'll do a paper zero on it. 